Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today we're gonna go ahead and bring you another product review and this time we're gonna be reviewing the UV resin by Resin Art. Now this is a big jar. The jar come with a 500 gram or you can also get it in a thousand gram. It's very 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 cheap. I think the 500 gram come for $24.99 and the thousand gram come for like $39.99 but guys I got you covered. I have also 10% discount for you. I'll leave the link in the description box below for you as well. But now let's get into the unboxing. Now I received this product from uh, Resin Art and they had asked me to review their product for them. And of course you guys know all thought, opinion, are mine. I'm not gonna go ahead and sugarcoat anything. Now, this is my first time I'm unboxing it right now with you guys. I don't know what's in it. I just receive it, put it down, and then I'm reviewing right now while I'm, while I'm doing it uh, with you <laughs> now. So this is what the jar look like. It's quite a big jar and it come with your standard, uh, you know, black bottle and, you know, your little applicator tape. And also you have the uh, user manual. Now, what I appreciate about uh, this company is because they took the time to put, you know, the instruction, everything that you need to know on the box. They also put it on the, you know, the resin bottle for you, as well as they gave you like a little uh, pamphlet or manual for you to so have like the same kind of information so you have no no excuse not to know what exactly you need to do or you know what the product is all about now I went to Amazon and I look at the product now based on what they say you can see on the on the screen guys I put the screenshot for you uh, for the product on Amazon you have all these things that they say that the resin can do and of course we are gonna test this because me and UV resin we have a love-hate relationship guys it's it's if you find the good one then you're gonna love it but sometimes you have like the worst one with the smell but anyway now I'm gonna be using a UV LED lamp this is my lamp um, but if you have a UV lamp you have a certain setting for it or if you're gonna be using gold old mother nature you know <laughs> UV LED lamp which is the Sun so you have the setting for it it gives you all the things that you need to know uh, about you know what's uh, the timing and all this thing now one of the things that I also want to mention whenever a company say you know it's gonna take two to four minutes for you to cure don't take this at heart because you UV resin I always recommend that you cure it at uh, the same time top and bottom so which means that when you put your resin on your mold you cure it for four minutes which is what you know my time setting based on my UV lamp and my, my the lamp I'm using I'm also gonna flip it down and cure the bottom part also so this will end up being a total of eight minutes then I'm gonna be uh, curing my products instead of just the regular four minutes because you always have to cure it at the back so and also it also entail you know you know if you put color in your resin you know how thick you have your layer on so this is like you know all the things that you have to consider when you take the time don't just go ahead and do whatever you want and then cure it for four minutes and be like oh my god it's not cure the company lied to me you have to know all these things about uv resin because if you add more thing inside of it you're gonna need to cure it for more time because as long as the resin is cure and it's clear it's gonna cure really fast but if you have like you know acrylic paint on it you know mica powder it's gonna take more time to cure because it's um, you know the you have color in it and the UV light is gonna get more time will need more time to pass through it and cure your piece properly so we're gonna go ahead and do a test guys you know I have to test everything so I'm gonna be testing with mica powder acrylic paint alcohol and glitter and just clear resin to see you know is the, what is the difference now basically they say that resin is very crystal clear it doesn't have any bubble it doesn't have any smell you know it's non-toxic and all of this now first I'm gonna be testing now the viscosity of the resin now based on uh, this viscosity guys this is a medium viscosity resin and with when we're talking about viscosity we're talking about you know how thick is the resin and um 
viscosity uh, doesn't mean that oh this is bad if the resin is medium or low viscosity compared to a high viscosity it doesn't it's not I'm implying that the resin is you know this resin is better or this resin every viscosity have certain things they do that the other one can't do like a like a medium to low viscosity like this one you can use it in any mold that have like you know very detailed or you know nook and crevice when you cannot use like a high viscosity resin for that high viscosity resin mostly you use it because it's very thick so it's best for you to use it to as a top you know top coat or you when you're doming your piece or if you're using it without a mold because it's very thick so it doesn't move a lot compared to like a medium viscosity like this one it's kind of very liquidy so it it move a lot so you will not be able to use that resin if you're not using a mold you know if you put it you put it like in a piece on top of like a, a tape and you have like maybe like an earring or something then you can use it but i highly recommend uh, to use like a mold if you're using on low to medium viscosity now i'm gonna be showing you this is my ejection resin that i use all the time and this is a high viscosity resin now you can see how thick this one is compared to the other one so that's what i mean by by viscosity it doesn't mean that it's you know th this one is better quality than this one they just have different jobs that they each one can do that the other one cannot do i mean you can dome with a low to medium viscosity resin but it's because it's like so runny so it's not you know best for you to use like when you're doming or you know top coating your piece you want the resin to stick that's why you usually will leave the resin if you're doing that with a two-part resin you want to leave your resin for a little bit to start to thicken so that way your resin piece doesn't move so if you're doing that with uv resin use a high viscosity resin if you're gonna top coat or doming your piece but uh if you're gonna for anything else you can use like a medium to low viscosity resin now if you can use a high viscosity resin if your mold it's like a mold like this it doesn't have like any detail you know it's just like a straight out you know round heart or it doesn't have any like low detail piece you can use a high viscosity resin but it will take more time to cure so everything have you know their thing that they can do i'm showing you right now um i'm gonna cure both of them and i'm gonna be showing you they end up looking exactly the same but the only thing that i'll say that because uh, the high viscosity resin is very thick the color tend to be like more pronounced in it now um and that's one thing to keep in mind um, now the this one in the yellow where I have the circle one this is my detection which is the high viscosity resin and I'm gonna be doing for the resin art every single test it's gonna be the low heart piece now I'm gonna go ahead and cure them for eight minutes total four minute top and four minute bottom you can see my piece is upside down I'm gonna remove them and then first thing we're gonna uh, check for stickiness if it's not sticky so it th is it cure really well which is guys it did because the resin <laughs> after i cured for eight minutes it was hot i mean very hot so uh, that's one thing to keep in mind don't burn yourself if you are gonna do but and also they say the resin is crystal clear like diamond clear and they were not joking because look at this smooth and very 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 clear beautiful and the color on it gorgeous it take the acrylic paint really nice and also i was extremely surprised because literally no order there was like no order at all i literally had to put the piece on my nose to see if there was any order this when you put it on your nose this is when you have a little bit of smell and there was no order and one of the things that I also wanted to check for was like if the resin retract because most of the resin like if you put them in a piece they will kind of retract to themselves so that way your piece will not be full you have like that little edge at the bottom you know on the side that's resin will retract and I hate that when whenever uh resin do do that that's one of the reasons that i really like my detection because it does not retract and it does not have any smell and you can see the high viscosity and their resin which is a medium viscosity there is no difference 
in my um, jurisdiction, I actually had to go and put it back. Now the in, second thing the um, the test we're gonna be doing because we will they, be doing I just the put um, like a powder. You know, one Again, I you be mindful of how like much makeup powder. So it will you take more time you know, to cure because any resin is put in very your, thick. Uh, UV resin or in any resin in general, there was like a ratio. You can see I'm adding just a little bit of makeup powder. Now one of the things that I'll say that I really like about this resin is because it does keep the color true to the you know the color itself that in the jar i'm just using my little heating tool to kind of you know bust a little bit of like uh um the bubbles i don't have i didn't have any bubbles to begin with but i'm just like heated it up um you know a little bit again i'm gonna go ahead and cure it for eight minutes four on top and four at the bottom you can see every time i come back my uh, piece gonna be upside down because i uh, cured also at the bottom but again with the mica powder how gorgeous is this i mean it's extremely extremely shiny and beautiful and it doesn't retract you can see you have the lower lips at the you know on the side it do not retract at all and it doesn't have any smell at all i love 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 how it's like very 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 it's not sticky at all i'm surprised and you can see both the acrylic uh, paint and the mica powder have the same shine on it nothing nothing different i love love this resin guys now this is definitely my favorite you know low to medium viscosity resin uh, i love it now i'm gonna go ahead and do the alcohol ink for alcohol ink you know it's gonna be sheer i added two drop of the alcohol ink and i make sure my uh, piece is filled to the top i just did just one layer again cure it for eight minutes for top for bottom and then once you remove it absolutely stunning and guys like i said it was a very hot so make sure you let it you know sit for a moment before you remove it but look at this it is super clear this thing is crystal clear i am impressed too seriously i am very impressed very impressed by this resin now i don't know if they have like um you know a high viscosity resin i don't see it under on the website on the amazon website but if they do come up with a high viscosity resin i will definitely check them out if they have the same formula for the high viscosity resin as well but because this resin is absolutely amazing now i'm gonna go ahead and do my test with glitter and again i add a good amount of glitter i'm gonna put that in my little hard uh, mold again heat it up with the heating uh you know my heating gun and then i'm just gonna go ahead and pop it down for eight minutes also all of them i'm gonna do eight minutes just because i did just one layer and i wanted to see if there's any difference at all between you know each layer that i did uh you know each one of them have a different type of you know you know product in them we have the acrylic paint the manga powder the alcohol egg and the glitter absolutely gorgeous again you can see absolutely stunning this is my purple holographic chunky glitter from let's resin love 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 this glitter and how gorgeous is that little uh, heart come with the glitter again very very shiny very beautiful and last test we're gonna be doing of course is gonna be just pure pure uh, clear um, the uh, resin on it and again heat it up and put it down on my mold now i'll say this one thing uh this came out now I'm, I'm not removing a bubble it was just a little black piece that was in my resin and that i was removing now again i just went and clear it and you can see how clear uh, the resin is if you're looking far away you will not be able to see you'll think that there is nothing in it again it was very very hot and look at this it's literally crystal it looked like a piece of ice a crystal piece of ice now there is like some stuff on the on the top part of the mold uh of the heart it's because my mold i did not realize that i have like uh some damage in that one of the heart and i had used that heart that had like the marking on it and he transferred to the resin but look how crystal clear this is and guys i'm gonna be showing you how crystal clear this is by putting that piece of heart on top of my coaster that i made my diamond a painting coaster look how crystal clear this is you cannot tell me this is not absolutely gorgeous this resin is a 10 by 10 for me it does not retract it does not have any smell it stick it cure really really nice and very no stickiness to it and it do not 
do not cl be cloudy or anything like it it is crystal clear and it take every single thing that you add to it and it keep the same shine and i'm showing you one final moment guys this is the acrylic paint and you can see true to color it kept the same beautiful color yellow color on it i choose the yellow the yellow color because it's very vibrant i wanted to keep it that way and you, again with the mica powder you can see a very very true to color with the mica powder it did not change the color at all and it keep the same shining and shininess glossiness on it and the same thing goes for the um um uh, alcohol egg and the glitter and the clear resin by itself like this guys i will leave the a code for you in the description box below make sure you check it out the resin if you want the 500 grams is 24.99 and the code will give you a 10 percent discount you're welcome <laughs> you can use that on amazon guys i'll leave the direct link for the resin for you um uh, down below choose either one you want you can use the code for whatever the thousand gram or the 500 grams guys i hope you like this resin just like i do make sure you give it a try and i'll see you on the next video until then guys you know the drill <laughs> be blessed and stay blessed i'll see you on the next video i love you guys bye Mwah.